गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू इंग्लिश क्लास एंड टुडे आई विल टीच यू द फर्स्ट चैप्टर द लास्ट लेसन ऑफ क्लास ट्वेल्थ फ्लैमिंगो बुक ओके एंड द ऑथर इज एल्फोन्स डॉडिट ऑल राइट डियर स्टूडेंट्स इन दिस चैप्टर व्हाट इज द इंट्रोडक्शन इन दिस स्टोरी द फ्रेंच डिस्ट्रिक्ट ओके अल्सेस and lorraine have passed into persian hands read the story to find out what effect this had on life at school all right so actually dear students means the author of this chapter okay first of all just listen the introduction of this chapter the last lesson okay means alphonse dodet okay was a french novelist and he was a short story writer and this chapter the last lesson is set in the days of the franco persian war all right which was held in 1817 to 1871 and in which france was defeated by prussia led by bismarck okay after that prussia then consisted of what now or the nations of germany poland and parts of austria so in this story the french district of alsace and lorraine okay have passed into the prussian hands all right and the story deals with the theme of language imposition and language loyalty all right two things language imposition and language loyalty and the story highlights the pain that is inflicted on the people of a territory by its uh, we can say conquerors by taking away their rights to study or speak their own language so dear students it was the introduction of this chapter the last lesson all right just see the first paragraph I started for school very late that morning and was in great dread of a scolding especially because Mr Hamel I had said that he would question us on participles the author said that oh it was a morning time all right and i was very frightened okay because i was being late for my school and i was thinking that today i will definitely scolded by my teacher especially by m hamel okay because today my teacher m hamel said to me that today he will ask me questions about participles all right and the author said that i did not know the first word about them i was very confused because i did not know that what is the rules of the participle for a moment i thought of running away and spending the day out of doors oh the author was very much curious oh first of all he thought that means i should run away from school today means i should not go to school today what will happen there that is why for a moment i thought of running away and spending the day out of doors i will spend whole day behind the means outside of the school okay behind the class it was so warm so bright all right and the birds were chirping at the edge of the woods the author said that really today was so hot and the birds were chirping that is why we were uh, feeling some happiness seeing the means listening the voice of the birds okay uh, near the edge of the woods and in the open field back of the sawmill and there was a uh, sawmill okay and behind that the author saw that there was some prussian soldiers were drilling there were some prussian soldiers all right and they were practicing okay it was all much more tempting than the role for participles and when i saw the soldiers were drilling but i thought that no it will not help me means i have to tell the teachers the role of participles but i had the strength to resist and hurried off to school but i was very much curious that no any any way i will have to i will have to go to school all right when 
When I passed the town hall, there was a crowd in front of the bulletin board. The author said that means when I crossed, okay, when I crossed from the bulletin board near the town hall, I saw that oh, there was a huge crowd near the bulletin board. For the last two years, all our bad news had come from there. Okay, the author said that means before two years, all the all the all types of ill news, bad news, we used to know from this bulletin board for example the lost battles okay the draft the orders of the commanding officer or as well means etc okay and i thought to myself without stopping this can be the matter now first of all i i thought that means i should stop here okay i should know what is the reason that people are gathering here but no anyhow I have to go to school all right after that third paragraph then as I hurried by as fast as I could go the blacksmith watcher who was there after that means I fast very I, I ran from there very fast after that I saw there was a black blacksmith okay watcher who was there with his apprentice reading the bulletin uh, called after me and the blacksmith who was reading the news he called me and he said to me hello don't go so fast bub okay you will get to your school in plenty of time the blacksmith told me that why are you running beta means you should go you should go very slowly okay you have plenty of time but no fourth paragraph i thought he was making fun of me and dressed M. Hamel's little garden all out of breath. And he said that, oh, I thought that, no, 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 any, any, anyhow, I thought that he was joking, he was joking. And no, no, I will go very fast because Miss M. Hamel, okay, M. Hamel's little garden all, all out of breath. Oh my God, when I reached near the garden of M. Hamel, I saw that, okay, he was teaching. After that, fifth paragraph. Usually, when school began, there was a great, great bustle, and the author thought that means in before time when there was a school day, there was a great bustle means make a noise among the students, which could be heard out in the street, and we can listen the the that voice means near behind the mean behind the classes, okay, near the street. But what is the going on today? the opening and closing of desk lessons repeated in unison okay the students used to cry so much and he used to open and close the desk and their voice used to come very loud with our hands over our ears to understand better and the teachers great ruler rapping on the table okay the teacher used to teach with with his stick but now it was all so still the author was very shocked that why today the virus is not coming okay from the class oh i had counted on the commotion to get to my desk without being seen okay and i thought that no i will not i will not uh, try to know the reason first of all i will go okay near my desk and i will sit there but of course that day everything had to be everything had to be a quiet as sunday morning the author was very shocked okay because the, means he thought that what is the reason okay the boy thought that what is the reason it is looking just like a sunday morning oh through the window i saw my classmates already in their places when i reached near my class okay the boy said that i saw that means my friend were already in in the classroom oh they were taking their class and M. Hamel walking up and down with his terrible iron roller under his arm and the teacher teacher was teaching inside the class okay and he had a ruler in his hand I had to open the door and go in before everybody and when I raised late oh my god the class had it started okay and I had to go before everybody oh you can imagine now I blushed and how frightened I was. Means reaching late. Okay, the class have started. M. Hamel was teaching. Just imagine how 
how shall i be feeling at that time okay so dear students now just see the sixth paragraph but nothing happened am hamel saw me and said very kindly but i was shocked because my teacher am hamel said that okay no problem okay he he did not say me any word go to your place quickly he said only me one thing little french okay the boy's name is little french okay go go to your place okay we were beginning without you am hamel said to the french that we were starting our chapter without you go and take your place all right so dear students today i explained you the introduction of this chapter the last lesson and i explained six paragraph of this lesson and from tomorrow onwards i will explain from seven paragraph okay have a nice day